Most people in the affected districts are now panic-stricken over fears that adults too are vulnerable to nodding disease. In most cases, I see that it usually attacks the age of either one, age of one year to five. However, those with similar symptoms to nodding disease such as seizures are convinced that they have the nodding syndrome. After seeing his village mate, 35-year-old Agnes Adoch, exhibit these signs, this gentleman is now thinking otherwise. Agnes Adoch is a mother of four. Looking at her, she's a picture of perfect health. Zooming in a little to her daughter, you'd think the daughter has nodding disease. But that is not the case. It is actually Agnes who has nodding syndrome, a disease which has been known to affect children. Agnes says for the past five years she has had nodding disease-like symptoms. The girl cooked the food. When they bring the food, they say that, you eat. And then it's like, start nodding, he said, like this. But this aunt cannot get the food. In the neighboring district Kitgum, in Okidi Parish, we spoke to one man's son who says his father has signs of the nodding syndrome too. He began to roll and go inside. After rolling, he, he reached there, near that door. He knocked his head. There is one question, however, which we do not stop getting asked. May, may I know more about that one? How? Is it a contagious disease? Though most people fear that the disease is contagious, the State Minister for Health, Richard Nduhura, thinks otherwise. This is not um, an infectious disease. For this mother, this is no assurance. She worries that the disease which has affected her and our oldest 17-year-old son might also affect her three younger children. But it is not only the residents questioning this development. Health experts have different opinions about adult contraction. It is possible, but uh, there are many other mental diseases in that area because they have the uh, biggest number of epilepsy. Uh, and then uh, those are the issues which we are trying to investigate. We treat them as uh, epileptic cases because they never originated the same way. Some of them have been so long in their lifetime. But we've seen in nodding diseases, the, the, the main trigger factors mainly are when they see the food, they can convulse. When they, maybe the weather is cold, they can convulse and those things. So the adults we are seeing, they are presenting with similar problems. So that's why we are saying possibly they could also be having nodding disease. Though Agnes and other adults doubt their status, they still come to this health center for nodding syndrome drugs to be able to turn the disease. But why question if adults have it? The children are growing with the disease into adulthood. This situation draws urgency for the need to find out what exactly causes and cures nodding syndrome. Florence Nalimba, NTV.